Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Cats Gardening, Kitchen, and More. I wanted to share something with you that I've been um, doing today. One of the things that I've been doing is I've been getting things into the freezer so that it stays good. Um, and I had um, some beef from a couple of days ago. Um, brisket is what it was, and it had a lot of fat on it. And I cut all of the fat off as good as I could and chopped it up really fine. And I have it in this pan here. And I'm going to render it down, all that fat, so that it is um, made into lard. Um, basically, there is a few things you can do. You can do it on the stove, in a slow cooker slash crock pot, or you can do it in your oven. The main thing is do not add anything to it. There are recipes online that say you can add water to it, um, but I have found um, from the different things that I have watched and learned over the years, there have been a few people that have said that by adding the moisture to it, it doesn't make it as thick, and it also, if you don't store it proper, will cause it to mold easier because it has that moisture in it. Um, as long as you cook it on the lowest temperature that your oven will go, that your stovetop will go, or low on your slow cooker, um, you should be just fine. This will take several hours, anywhere from um, 3 to 12 hours, depending on which device you're using. I'm using the stove top, so it should take me about four to five hours to do. So I'm going to put it on low, no higher than low. And I'm going to put my lid on it, and I will check it every now and then and give it a good stir. And over time, it will start to um, render out the liquid and the fat, and you'll see that. And then when it gets to the point where the pieces start to make a crackling noise. Um, that's called the crackle. Then you know it's done. So in about um, two to three hours, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so for right now, we're just going to let it render down. And we'll see you in about two to three hours. Hi, guys. Um, as I told you earlier, I would come back in a few hours and show you um, the lard. Mm -hmm. So after I got it started on the stove, I stuck it into the oven on the lowest temperature. Um, for me, the lowest temperature is warm. Um, you want it between um, right around 180 to 210. No higher. Well, let me pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Look at all that good lard in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it in here and strain it. I have a strainer here with a double cheesecloth in it I'm going. to get any of the impurities that might be in it. And I'm going to one, one more right here. If you can see that dripping and draining. So what I'm going to do, because there might be some more good lard in here, is I'm going to dump this back into my pan and put it back into my oven. But that is the basics of how you want to do it. Um, I'll grab a canning jar and I will stick it in a canning jar. Sushi. 
I'm making them with sushi. They're not gonna like it. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Get out of here. Now, one thing you can do is if you have a lot of fat on your meat, you can cut it off and render it. You can also go to your local butcher and get some meat. Um, the best kind of fat that you want is the fat that's around the kidney. They call that leaf lard. It's going to be the less, it's going to be the one that doesn't smell as much like the meat. And so that'd be one that you would want to use on your pastries. Um, you can also go to your grocery store and ask your meat guy if, if they have any and get some that way. Sometimes they'll tell you you need to pre-order it and that's fine too. Um, but however you choose to do it, um, give it a shot, give it a try. It doesn't have all of the additives and preservatives that they put into it to make it shelf stable. So it's much, so much healthier for you. Um, what I would do is put a lid on it and then I would store it in the refrigerator. And it will be good for you in the refrigerator for up to several months, even longer in the freezer. So um, I hope you guys give that a shot and give it a try. It's really yummy and really good. And it's a lot healthier for you than the shortenings and lard that's in the grocery stores. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notifications for any... It will notify you of any upcoming videos that I may be doing. Um, comment if you choose to. I will try and read all your comments and um, respond back. And have a good day. Bye, my friends.